Hello, Mike from Greenway. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to try something different. We've got this 2012 Mitsubishi iMeve with its original battery, and it's now over 13 years old. We're going to just take it on our daily routine, go to work, go to home, and do any errands that we have to do. Probably around 100 kilometers trip today, around 60 miles. Uh, I know the battery will not take us 100 kilometers on one trip because the temperature outside today is somewhere around minus 5 Celsius or about 25 Fahrenheit. So uh, I do need to charge it up at work, but that's something I always do, charging up my car at work. So I will do that partway through the day. And uh, please join me on my trip and let's see how well this 2012 Mitsubishi iMe will make out. Okay, let's uh, take a look and see where we're at. First of all, let's get it started up. Okay, so it, it, I just fully charged it. It's guessing that we have 59 kilometers or so let's see, it's somewhere around uh, 40 miles. And let's set our uh, trip odometer here. Let's see here. Let's see. So it says minus one. So it's minus one inside the garage. Here's the kilometers on the car, 101,000 kilometers. That's just over 62,000 miles. And there's our trip odometer. I'm going to reset this. So that'll be keeping track as trip A. That'll keep track of the kilometers we're doing today. And I think what I'll do is I'll try and make myself a little comfortable. So we've got... <laughs> Just the basic radio there. I am going to turn the heat on one notch and I'm going to turn the fan on a couple notches here. And I'm going to turn it to defrost and floor. So there we go. Okay, so the car is going. We're ready to go. Uh, I know the dash here isn't very fancy here, but that's what we've got. So let's head out. Okay, we made it to work. Uh, we did 38.1 kilometers, and you can see on the left-hand side here, this is where we've got the battery gauge, and there was 16 bars when we left, and we're down to 12, uh, sorry, we used 12, down to four, so we used three quarters of a tank <laughs> of electricity, and uh, that's where we're at. So now that we're at work, we'll be charging up all day, and we'll give you an update uh, as we're proceeding on our commute home. So we'll catch you in a minute. A little lunchtime update here. We did some errands over the lunch hour. So uh, you can see our battery did get charged up a little bit this morning. And uh, we're up to 52 kilometers now. But uh, yeah, so we still got quite a bit more time left to work today. So we'll just work for the afternoon and give you an update on our way home. Okay, we've made it home. We've done all our errands for the day and we did 97.3 kilometers. And um, by the time I left from work, the car was basically fully charged. So I used up quite a bit of the battery again, getting back home, but that's to be expected. It's a really small battery and uh, I've got, you know, I can see right there, three uh, battery bars remaining still out of 16. Um, so, that's where we got left at the end of the day. So I guess the question is, can you still drive a 2012 Mitsubishi iMeve in the modern day? A car that's never been upgraded, battery never changed. And, uh, you know, I did 100 kilometers almost today, 60 miles. Got back and forth to work. Now I do have charging at work. So uh, this would not be possible if I did not have charging at work. Um, basically, I'd be limited to half the range, around 50 to 60 kilometers. I do a lot of highway driving, so a lot of this was highway miles. If you're living in the city, you'll be able to get more miles out of it. And uh, so I said 50 or 60 kilometers, so that's 30 to 40 miles or so uh, that you'll be able to get out of a charge on this battery. And the temperature today was in Canada was fairly mild, minus 5 Celsius plus 25 Fahrenheit. And uh, so in the summer, you'll get higher range with the depths of the winter. It's going to decrease quite a bit. So this car might not work in the, the coldest days unless you're not driving that far. But of course, this car was never designed for long distance driving anyway. So that's my report on this 2012 Mitsubishi iMeve. 
Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions but down below. Maybe you've got one and let me know how well it's working out for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you found the video interesting or informative, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And also if you would consider subscribing for future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.